Hello everybody, what's up Sebastian C, back at it again after a long time with a very big June manga haul. So, if you like Jun Mochizuki, you are going to love everything in this haul, or at least a whole lot of things in this haul, whatever. Let's just get into the, whatever, I'm not counting them, but there is quite a bit of volume, but let's Go! So first off, we have Chrono Crusade Volume 2. This is a one of the easiest out of punt series to find, except for Volume 8. But it's an 8-volume series. There's an anime based on it's actually quite different. Um, but yeah, it has pretty pretty good old artwork. It's pretty good. It's it's if you liked Full Metal Alchemist or The Gray Man or stuff like that, it's not as on the level of those two manga. But it is still pretty good. It is very similar to those two, actually. But yeah, if you like Full Metal Alchemist or The Gray Man, you are going to like Chrono Crusade. It's it's not on the same level as those two. It's not as well written as those two. It does have it is kind of rushed. I am reading Author's News Work World Embryo right now, which is pretty much this meets Tokyo Ghoul. But it is still better than most short manga out there. It is still really good. It is out print though, but the first like five or six volumes, I think seven as well, are easy to find. It's volume eight, the final one that's kind of hard to find. I think that volume, I don't know what the heck is up with it. But anyways, on to a huge uh, landing of Junmu Chizuki manga. First off, we've got Pandora Hearts, my new favorite manga of all time. Volume seven, 13, and 19. This is a very hard series to collect. But yeah, Pandora Hearts is like my favorite manga of all time. I'm not going to open this. They just, the anime is not as good as the manga. The anime, it's, it has great music, great voice acting, and it does adapt the material somewhat well until episode 22. Then it just flies off the rails. The, anime is, the, the animation is garbage and... Yeah, the anime is just not that good. I'd recommend checking out the manga. It is out of print, yes. This is one of the very few manga I'd recommend just reading online first, then buy some of the volumes if you really, really liked it. Otherwise, just read it online. I know I'm promoting piracy, but whatever. This series is very hard to collect. It's very hard to get all the full sets of. But yeah, Pandora Hearts, my favorite series of all time. And Jun Mochiyuki is a genius. It is just it's really good. I'm not going to open up any of the pages. They are very spoilery. But yeah. If you like stuff like Black Butler and the Gray Man. Oh, I think I keep mentioning Gray Man a lot. I don't know. You'll like this. It is really good. I'd say it's better than those two. Or at least the manga. The anime for Black Butler and the Gray Man far surpassed Pandora Hearts' anime. Which is a shame. Speaking of Pandora Hearts, we... Oh, oh. We have... The first light novel out of three, Pandora Hearts, Kakus Race? I, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. I actually, funny story, I actually thought these were called Cactus Race, and I was like, what? Yeah, it took, uh, for a while I thought these were called Pandora Hearts, Cactus Race. But anyways, these are somewhat defined. They um they they have some little, like, manga in it. Um, yeah, as you can see, the artwork is really good. But that's not to say that they don't have illustrations inside them. Um, let me find an example. See? Yeah, these are pretty good. Pretty cool. Pretty good spinoff. I downloaded the PDS for the second two because they're also really hard to find. Yeah, it's a pretty good spinoff to Pandora Hearts. I wouldn't say it's on the level of the original, but it is still pretty good. Don't know why I did that. But anyways, now time for a whole series I caught up with this month. The case study of Van Ts, I think it is. Volumes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, which came out very recently. Yeah, this is a great series. From the author of Pandora Hearts and Crimson Shell, which I got in an earlier haul this year. This series, oh my god, is one of the best 
vampire manga ongoing. I think it's one of the only ones, actually, aside from, like, Seraph at the End, but that manga, from what I've read, is mid. That contains way better, even with that shitty ending. Even with the shitty ending, Attack on Titan's better than Seraph for the End. But anyways, back to Case Study of Van T.S. This is getting an anime very soon. The artwork is amazing. I mean, just look at this. Just look at this art. It's really good. Some of the volumes have color, color pages as well. I think like a volume 7 does. No, no, maybe volume 6. No. Okay, volume 5 has to have a color page in the beginning. Yep, it does. But yeah, case study of Vantius. I picked up the whole thing after catching up with the ebook chapters. So yeah, really good. It's not as good as Pictorial Arts, but I think it has the potential to surpass it. And now, finally, for the last release. Also, stay tuned for the anime from Bones. It is going to be spectacular. It looks much better than the pin, what they did, what Zebek did to Pandora Hearts. And now, finally, Shaman King. The second omnibus of 11 or 12, I think. It, it, I think it will be 12, but if it's 11, the last one's going to be, it's going to be a thick boy. Yeah, not to say these aren't already thick, like, god darn. But yeah, this is a, this is a very classic show, and another one of my favorites. Also, I'm still waiting to get to the 100 subscriber mark. I know I don't put out videos frequently, but if you want to see my top 10 manga of all time, subscribe already, dude. But yeah, pretty good classic shonen. Pretty good anime is airing right now. I know people kind of give the new anime crap, but it is much better than what I saw in 2001 anime. I did not like the style of 2001 anime at all. I, it did feel like Shaman King, just not as good, but... Probably because I was watching it raw, but whatever. This is really good. 2021 anime is also really good. 2001 anime, meh. But yeah, Shaman King, please pick it up. If you want to see the spinoffs printed in English, even though they're not as good as the original. If you want to see all of Shaman King printed in English for the first time, please pick these up. I'll try to pick them up, but like Chainsaw Man, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to. I'm busy on collecting Pandora Hearts and getting that third volume of Corona Crusade. Hopefully, but yeah, Shaman King, great stuff. One of my favorite Shaman manga of all time. Really good. If you like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, especially with the parts with Stans, but I think you like those more than the parts with Hamon. Soul Eater, Hunter Hunter. Um, it's not as good written as those series, or at least Hunter Hunter or JoJo. It's not as well written as those two, but if you liked those. You'll like Shaman King. Yeah, pretty long video. Almost at like, it's two minutes away from being like 10 minutes. But yeah, hope you liked this manga haul. And see you next month or soon, depending on whenever I get that 100 subscribers. But anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.